everybody. This is Dave DeBow here with another special Real Estate Investment Association Spotlight podcast. Today, it's my pleasure to be talking with an old friend, Tom Zeeb, who's not only a real estate influencer, he's also the head honcho at the Traction RIA, which has meetings not just in one place, not just in two places, three different locations, Washington, D.C., Tampa, Florida, and Sarasota, Florida. So, Tom, good to see you again. Welcome to the show. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for having me. Good to, good to see you again. My pleasure. So, Tom, let's talk a little bit about Traction Ria. So, tell us a little bit about the club, how long it's been going, how long you've been involved in it, how many, approximately how many members you've got, that sort of thing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I was a member before I ran it. So, it was... This RIA group, it was, I changed the name to Traction RIA, but it was, it was previously a, a, a RIA. Mm-hmm. And I cut my teeth as an investor there. I finally learned, like, that was the room I walked into where all the stuff that was only in books or only online in the earlier days of the internet, where it suddenly made sense. It was actually real because all these people in this room were actually real estate investors. So it was the group that brought it home to me that this works, this happens. And I like I like to say I cut my teeth at that group and learned how to oh wait a minute there's there, there's these investors that want to uh, buy and hold there's these investors that want to fix and flip and I think I see myself selling to them as a wholesaler and I figured all that out by simply having walked into one room walking into Traction Ria. Yeah, so you found that not only was it a great source of education, but this, in your case, as a wholesaler, was a perfect perfect place to find your end customers because they're all looking for deals. Yeah, everybody you need is there. And, 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 and that's, I mean, that's on the wholesaler side, but honestly, everyone else too, the, the amount of information that was being exchanged on, hey, do you need a good contractor? Do you need a handyman? Do you need a property manager? Do you need a, an attorney? Do you need the, whatever you needed, you could find in a, in a one-stop shop and that, you know, everyone talks about the one-stop shop, but it, it was really nice to actually have that for our business. Yeah, no, that's wonderful. So about, do you remember more or less what year did you did you join up the RIA in the first place? It's been a while now, I'm sure. Yeah, 2003, wow. I want to say. Yeah. 2003, I had finally, and it was, it was wow, this is, this is incredible. And uh, yeah, sometimes I'm weak on dates. I'm trying to remember. I remember, I, I do remember when, when we got asked to take over, the, 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 the fellows that ran it were looking to retire. And they said, would you, you know, you, we've done a lot for you. This has been, a, you know, the group's been really good to you and your business. Would you like to take over running it? And uh, Dave, honestly, my first reaction was, no way. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've run a real estate investment club. Yeah, I can understand that reaction. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, wait a minute, do you think I'm crazy? Uh, you know, but I was I was curious and and I thought, well, you know, the the group has done me a lot of good. And so, you know, that's my wife and I take over and, and it helped her become a real estate investor as well. And and we said, well, let's look at this. And well, what would we do and, and how would we do it? And it is a way of I don't always like the term giving back, but it does feel that way. It's like, wow, this is a great way of giving back. And so it was 2008, uh, the August, September timeframe that we took over. And honestly, I haven't looked back since. I mean, it's it's because it's been fantastic. Well, that was kind of a scary time to be involved in for some real estate investors around that time. And so was it kind of a shaky start because of everything that was going on at that time with the real estate industry? Or, or yeah, you know, the great right? the great financial crisis or the, the yeah, previous yeah. great financial crisis, yeah, yeah. whichever <laughs> one, right? Be. Yeah, it was. Yeah, one of the many. Uh, it was. Yeah, there was a little bit. It was. You know, people were starting to get nervous. Uh, deals weren't flowing as easy for a lot of people. And I said that let's let's focus on it. let's get people the trading they need and the networking they need, and the team building they need, and the motivation, quite honestly, that they need to, to move ahead. And uh, it went very smooth, and, and everything was great. The, the, the most, uh, maybe the most exciting thing happened right at the beginning, because when we took over in August, September 2008, my wife was pregnant with our first son. Wow. Um, he wound up, uh, she went into labor at our January 2015, uh, sorry, January 2009 meeting. Got the wrong kid there. Uh, yeah, which was which was nuts. So, <laughs> Did you go to labor with all your kids. <laughs> yes, it, it, it's become a thing now. We like to you know uh, scare everybody at the meetings. Uh, so it was pretty good, and it was one of those things where wow, of all the things, just, that was only our what maybe fourth, uh, fourth or fifth uh, meeting, uh, uh, you know, ha- having it, 
and she started going into labor. And I basically introduced our speaker. And then I ran out and went to the hospital uh, following after her. And a few hours later, Tommy came out. <laughs> <laughs> A very intimate uh, tie-in with exactly. the exactly. Well, I mean, memorable for everybody. That meeting stuck out at everybody's mind, I'm sure. So, <laughs> so, Tom, you've been running this this RIA for well over a dozen years at the time that we're recording this podcast. In addition to kind of giving back, what are some of the big benefits you see uh, from being really involved in in like as a director of a RIA or really involved in a RIA? Not necessarily the the president or the owner or what have you, but what are some of the big benefits you see as being actively involved in your local RIA? Gotcha. Uh, it is very nice to be able to help like our other team members build their businesses. That, what, by that, I mean uh, settlement attorneys, settlement agents, um, uh, handymen, uh, hard money lenders, because we, you know, we're very much able to direct the flow of where people go because it's not just a random recommendation. I, I, I have to screen people. So I, I don't, I don't want to just refer anybody. I've got to check them out. I have them sign, um, uh, not disclosures, but like, like sign an ethic code of ethics agreement with us as well. So I, it's a, it's a nice way of giving people kind of a, uh, the safety of a sandbox in a way that, that there's, there's this area where the re has done the work for you of finding the good people. And now I can, I can match people with what they need when they need it, which is, Awesome. Very cool. I, I love that. No, that's that's fantastic. Now, Tom, you you've recently moved yourself and your family from one state to another. It sounds like you've taken your your RIA with you uh, to a certain degree or you've expanded it. Talk to us a little bit about that experience, because that's that's fell relatively new right now for you, I, I would think. So how is that whole transition going? Because before you're based primarily in, in the Washington, D.C. area, now you're living in Florida, and now you've opened up uh, two new chapters of your RIA there. Talk to us a little bit about the that process. Gotcha. Well, through, uh, through our relationship with the National RIA, we have a relationship with the Home Depot. And the Home Depot was especially interested in having having our presence. Uh, we've driven, it's another thing, we drive a lot of business. So we drive a lot of business to Home Depot. And then that's a, that's mutually beneficial because they they give our members phenomenal discounts, discount programs, and a two percent rebate uh, every six months on what they spend. So, I, in particular, our very active rehabbers and our landlords that are spending a lot of money uh, are getting enormous amounts of money back from that relationship with the Home Depot. So, they were particularly interested in having groups in West Florida and in the Tampa and Sarasota area. They didn't have any, uh, so they were. Quite thrilled when I said, "Well, look, you know, we're we're, uh, we're thinking of going there," and they were they were excited about that. So, yeah, we've replicated our successful model from DC into Tampa and Sarasota, and it's you know, yeah, some of the other uh, benefits people get out of it. It's networking. Mm -hmm. It's building that team. It's it's having friends in the business. Dave, I I think you know, like real estate investors are a little weird. <laughs> we're, we're different. Entrepreneurs yeah. are a little weird. We're different. There's something we don't seem to think like everybody else. And so where do you go to find that room of like-minded people that you might actually get along with? Well, you, come to Traction. Yeah, where, where, where else are you going to go that everybody gets you, right? I mean, yes. your own family yeah. doesn't get you half the time for credit. Oh, I know. And I, I don't... I don't I don't mean to make it sound like horribly lonely out there, but for a lot of people, it's at least a little bit lonely out there because yeah. nobody, like you said, your own family doesn't get you. So we can put these rooms together where we get you and, and you're going to be around like-minded people. And I've watched people build friendships and business partnerships and you know go do deals together or lend money to each other or get referrals from each other or just be friendly with each other, you know, have, you know coffee and lunches and dinners. That's, that, that's fantastic. I think that's one of the biggest benefits people get out of membership is that is that network and that ability to build your your circle of friends and colleagues of like mind. Yeah, no, very, very well said. Now I'm curious, personally curious, because I, I used to run a small local RIA here in my community as well. Um, it's still chugging along. I'm just not in charge of it anymore. But so you say that Home Depot was very excited to get you guys started up in, in these areas in Florida. Are they helping to cover costs for your RIA? Are they a sponsor? 
is because there's there's a lot of overhead that can go on with with running yeah. stuff like that. They're a sponsor. The, the main way they, they contribute is with the fantastic discounts that they give yeah, to, to our people and the rebate, uh, as well as a lot of times you know, when I ask for, uh, what do you call them, like chotskis, you know, they'll, they'll send us really nice you know, bags and bottles and, and pens and you yeah, know, things exactly. to give to our branded, branded merchandise to give to our people. So they're, they're supportive of us in that way. And when I've put together trade shows to have, you know, maybe some of their top vendors come and show off their wares, you know, we, we've had, mm. you know, their, their roofing people at their doors or their locks. But the paint, because they're, they're giving our members 20% off of paint uh, all the time. So it, it's not, but we're not, I can get those vendors in so that everyone can um, kind of see, touch, and, and, and actually interact with their, with their products and people like that. That's cool. So tell me a little bit about what kind of meetings do you guys put on with, uh, with your traction? We are. Are, they, are they monthly? Do you get together more than once a month? It sounds like you have kind of like trade show type things from time to time. Just give us a big picture overview of, of what kind of meetings you guys hold. They are primarily monthly meetings. Uh, some and what happens each month rotates. So it's, I, I view it as cross training. Hang out with us for a year, and you're going to get totally cross trained on real estate investing because we're going to talk about a whole bunch of different topics. And sometimes you're going to go, "Wow, that's exactly what I need." Well, I can see myself doing that. Well, fantastic. Then we, you know you've got a good match. So follow up on more of that. Other months you might sit there and go. Huh, that was interesting, but I don't see I don't see me doing it. It doesn't float my boat. It yeah. doesn't float my boat, which which is fine. I actually argue that's a really good thing too. It's good to know what you don't want to do as well as what you do want to do. Keep you focused. Yeah, definitely. yeah. So that that's that that's been important with with people. Um, and the so we we vary the topics. Sometimes it's a trade show. Sometimes uh, we, we bring in a national speaker. Sometimes we have a local speaker. You know, educators that can drill deep into a topic. And if you like what you experience at the main meeting, oftentimes we have a, a longer, usually on a Saturday, we have a, we have a full day event. So you can, you can go, oh, that's a topic I want to learn more about. Well, this is next an opportunity to drill deeper into that topic. Very good. So Tom, as we're wrapping up our interview here today, if uh, do, do you guys offer only in-person attendance or because of the whole pandemic thing, have you got good with the whole virtual thing as well? We've been very good with the virtual uh, and online. Like you mentioned, there were three regions, D.C., Tampa, Sarasota. We're also basically treating online as a fourth region as well. So okay. we have we have online offerings um, each month and sometimes they're webinar based. Sometimes it's a full day training. Uh, sometimes it's just a networking event using breakout rooms on Zoom. So we're trying to emulate and maintain what we did during the pandemic lockdowns uh, now in general because we have a wider audience. And some people still, it's just more convenient. So yeah, basically we're treating online as a full region. Yeah, that's smart. So people want to find out more about your Traction Rhea, what should they do? TractionRhea.com, TractionREIA.com. Doesn't get much easier than that. There Keep you go. Easy. All right, my friend, thank you very much. This has been a lot of fun. And hey, hats off to you for uh, all that you do because you're a busy, active <laughs> investor yourself. You're an active trainer yourself and you're running three different well now four <laughs> four different chapters one, of your one reality. or two things going there you go man hey hats off to you thank you so much thanks dave all right everybody take care and we'll see you on the next episode thanks for tuning into this special spotlight episode now if you're a real estate investor and you're looking to find private money partners and raise capital for your deals then check out moneypartnerformula.com. You get a free copy of my book. You can find out how to raise six figures or more in six weeks or less. Again, that's moneypartnerformula.com.